so Valheim Tech Tree Stone Wood Necktail Queen Bee Mushrooms Leather Scraps uh, Deer Hide Flint You can't get fine wood Raspberries And if you burn, you know Food, it's coal That's it uh, in the uh, in the meadows that's the core uh, tech tree and in the black forest you get saltering core gray dwarf eye core wood uh, fine wood it's like second mention just not to forget thistle resin <coughs> bone fragments dandelion skeleton trophy Troll hide, carrot seeds, and then the metals, you know, coal, tin, copper, bronze, and bronze nails. And to defeat the boss you need three ancient seeds, and after beating boss you can purchase thunderstone from the shop. Now this swamp, turnip seeds, ancient bark, chain. Sharpening stone, root, guck, blood bag, and this is a mistake. I put shit in here because after you get the good good boat, you'll get, do most of the exploring with this one. You know, so and then the metals, iron, iron nails. To defeat the boss you need 10 withered bone and it, the boss will give you a wishbone. Yeah. And next is the mountain, onion seeds, wolf trophy, fender's hair, cultist trophy, wolf pelt, obsidian, crystal and the mountain's metal silver. And beating the boss will give you dragon tear. Oh, and I forgot about the dragon eggs. But they are so heavy that you, you won't lock them back to base. You'll, you'll find the mm, boss, all, uh, boss arena and then you'll find the closest eggs, right? So it's not like... Anyway, um, planes next. Tar. Um, linen thread from Flax. Cloudberries, barley, and uh, its metal is black metal. Uh, to get the boss, you'll need fueling totems, and defeating boss will give you torn spirits, and then you can harvest the wisps. Next is Mistlands, Dwerger Extractor, Sap, Black Core. You only need five of them. Well, minimum, you know, to get started. Soft tissue, uh, uh, refined aether, scale hide, black marble, Yggdrasil wood, mechanical spring, Dwerger lantern, and there are two plants there, Jotun puffs, mage cap. You'll find seal breaker fragments, and beating boss gives you majestic carapace and ceramic plate. And uh, finally, uh, Ashlands, right? So it's still a new biome. So if you don't want to, you know, get spoiled, that's it's your last chance. And uh, this is the equipment I used: you know, crafted Mistwalker, you know, Fenris against the fire, you know, the feathered cape, root harness, and the padded armor uh, because of the weakness to fire on this one you need to carry fire resistance at all times pretty much it's a very dangerous damage this is a reward from the how do you call it Hilder's quest you know your food layout also loadout you want to carry it with you wisp light is uh, well uh, what do you call it? Planes item? 
You get silver from mountains, obviously, and stuff. But this bow, Draugr Fang, really cool. It has a reduced stamina usage compared to higher bows. The damage is normal. You no know, poison arrow is also quite nice. But yeah, Ashlands now. Plum metal, of course. I oh, should have put it there, I guess, for layout. Uh, Morgan sinew, bloodstone, celestial feather, ask swing trophy, ashwood, charred bone, molten core, grauston. Uh, the food is wineberry in the ashlands. Sulfur, prostite powder, charred cogwheel. I mean, this is a luxury item, you don't really need it. But uh, I, got, uh, I want to make a special mention for the fishers. You now you'll get your money, coins, and then you'll buy the fishing bait. And then you have troll trophy, abomination trophy, fueling trophy. Uh, in the ocean you get serpents. Breaks in the mountains, locks trophy, and warrior trophy. And if you go to the cauldron, here you go. Now you have all the fishing stuff. I, I think it's all all of the baits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight baits in the game. Yeah, I mean, every item in Valheim is important, I mean, you can put them in the obliterator and get some coal. You'll need a lot of coal. And the best coal is also uh, um, from the, what's it called? Uh, from the geysers in the swamp. But they are quite rare, so... Finding a good... And I was also standing around the geyser. I could check it again. Yeah, I should go check it again, but the salt rings didn't want to spawn. Maybe they changed it. And also, I had a very hard time tracking down... Where is it? Chitin. For whatever reason. You know, see, I flew all the way around here. All the way around here, here. And I flew all the way here. And I finally found it here. One, uh, one island out of all these places, you know, quite strange. So I don't know, maybe they changed the spawn rate of it or something. I think it's better to bring the base to the metals, unless you are in Ashland, of course, uh, than it is to constantly keep uh, driving the metal someplace, you know, like just plan out, you know, write it on the notebook what you want to craft and stuff because it's really you know it's easier to take the materials I mean only non-transportable material for this is five black metal everything else can be brought in by um, how do you call it by portal so <coughs> you just uh, go to the planes and you can refine the eight tier or even better you find uh, you know, like plains with meadows, see, crossing, and in the meadows it's really safe, you know, and you don't have to bring the, how do you call it, the industry, but it's only 10 metal, right, so you can sprint across a big, big chunk of map, not, not like too far, but you can definitely find options. No, instead, uh, uh, you can also m make an island like this, but to constantly keep bringing stuff back here, right? And uh, I know I haven't included all of the tech items, but at least the this covers that you know, like uh, most of these buildings, the useful ones, and uh, this one is also not not super core, but. Since Walheim is such a see, look, it's such a dark game. I think this this light is quite important uh, piece to get. You now don't don't neglect getting some light. Yeah, so all these fermenters, the whole industry. 
Yeah, and uh, also this blast furnace, you know, like it only needs the iron. Everything else can be brought in by the portal. So you find a, a how do you call it, a swamp n near the plains, you know, where they cross, and then then you set. And since uh, enemies can't destroy the uh, materials, the, you know, they only destroy the base items. So I think that's. Yeah, you'll need a lot of coal, whatever way you do it, you know. Obliterator can also, you know, like, if you catch the wisps, maybe it's free coal. I'd like to see. No, oh, I'd like to try it. Let's see. How much coal? I think it will give me one coal, but still. You can throw every crap in here. Nothing. Huh. Okay, interesting. Yeah, but you know, fish fishing is like luxury, not like fish isn't required to build buildings, so wood, stone. Yeah, now to some of the clips you know how to get the uh, I guess I don't know I don't remember if I filmed all getting all of them or not but behind the, the raspberries are behind the you know, well Yaglus stone I think was it mushrooms are behind the yeah, and I'm getting some starting equipment you know for the light the the circlet burger minor circlet or something I'm not crafting the hammer. Could could craft it, but eh. I'm gonna throw away the torch. <laughs> I should have kept it, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the Mistlands weapon. Pokey, pokey. Stick. And uh, end game food. You know, like fish and chips. Fish and bread, so and the new recipes are still popping off on the screen. So the first stop is the river or the neck, I guess. So you'll start out by hunting. Uh, deer, uh, boars, yeah, flint is near the water, see, easy to find, and then, not all necks give loot, see, this one was, uh, yeah, I, I killed a deer off camera, and the, what's it called, the guy who gives resin, the uh, grailing, the meadows grailing. Yeah, and also I have had a one star uh, skeleton right at the start. <laughs> so that was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing on the world modifier, no build cost. But everything else is default, so. Default damage and values and stuff. So this was Queen Bee. These are the boars. I mean, you wouldn't have advanced weaponry from the start, but you know, just to compress the time, it's already so long. See, these, these are the boats you can get fine wood early from. They're not super um, common, but you, it's still... Uh, they are they're around the coastline somewhere. Rarely. Yeah, see, not all necks have loot. 
So I'm gonna go hunt some more. This ingredient is for the po poison resistance as well as other uses. Now it's Black Forest time. Starting off with the Grey Dwarf spawner. You know, it's a... Um, when you feel comfortable you should set up a, a r arena like this. Just to train the archery skill or whatever, fighting skill, blocking skill. And get some free wooden stone. You know, if you want to build a stone platform, it requires a lot of stone. Or also just to raise ground, you know. Whichever way you do it. So thistle, blueberry. Blueberry isn't a build material, but the mushroom is build material for the cauldron. Upgrade the spice rack. And here, uh, I found a troll without the log, and because of his short range, he's, you know, it's very scary. You need a lot of skill. I think the the log one, you know, like uses a bit of range and see, you need to be very close to the trees. But uh, the ranged guy would be more effective, you know. He wouldn't walk around like this. He would just swing at you, and you would have easier time to escape. But yeah, this is the how you get uh, um, metal, how do you call it, copper, copper ore, core wood, even fine wood, if you really really need to. Until you can get your um, metal bronze uh, axe right because otherwise uh, um, if you cut down the tree um, yeah so s you don't really need to kill the first boss to get some metal <laughs> just find a troll But it's gonna be really dicey because uh, there are a lot of mobs spawning in the black forest. And it's not even night time. So... It would be easier to just hunt the deer and... Uh, you know, do the first boss. So if you don't cut the fine wood or the, you know, the birch or the core wood without the metal axe, you know, with the, you know, flint axe and stone axe, then it won't, won't give you the special wood, it only will give you normal. And I'm like... I'm fed up with this troll now. I'm just gonna 
And I'll drop it real quick and reload with it. I mean, troll hide is not a, a build material, but it's uh, like very useful for the light armor. It offers quite a bit of protection. And it's from four pieces. Now I'm gonna return to this loot later. Marking it out, and I randomly stumbled upon the elder. Now you, you touch this rune to add it to your map, and tin is near the water in Black Forest. Oh, I, I didn't find the troll this time, but I just took a shortcut and after that you need to find these crypts I, oh, again I got really lucky uh, first room I visited had the the boss leg vizier you know Feathers are used to build the dragon bed later, so keep the feathers. Ah, but you uh, see these sultring cores are needed for the portal. And that's why you need to, that's why you should, you know, if you can, get some fine with early. Because it's really, you know. You don't have a reliable, you know, boat or something fast or, you know, whatever. So, moving around and logging everything with you. I mean, you could get the, how do you call them, bronze nails early, I guess. And build a cart, but... The terrain in Valheim, you know, so bad. Navigating through the um, well, through the woods and through the old bushes and uneven terrain and uh, but yeah, this will be our first grind. Getting the coal, I guess you'll I guess you'll use the wood in from the from the arena. Or uh, any other source. So see, tin and bro uh, bro um, copper combine into bronze, and that now you have access to the first good boat car. And you can get like, you can store all your. Well, it doesn't have a s super l big storage, but at least... At least you can start to find maybe an island or colonize something safe. If you have a portal, that would be best. Yeah, some, with some core wood and bronze, you can start planting your own seeds. At first you will have the carrots from Black Forest. And then the turnips from the swamp and so on, you know. And once you're done with your metal grind, No, F uh, swamp isn't super dangerous. If you can handle black forest, you should 
deep into um, the what's it called? Just get some fine wood with you uh, for for the key because you don't really need to rush to kill elder. But finding silver will be very hard without uh, without you know killing bone mass. So. Uh, finding the turnip in the swamp will be really... It's n its uh, quite rare, basically. You'll need to either skulk around a lot. But yeah, blood bag is from leeches, you know. And uh, you can build a small base on top of the crypts. Um, most mobs can't get you there. So, you know, you see you build the, the chair. Fine with chair. And you can clip through the entrance. And iron fr comes from these scraps or from the chest. Yeah, but uh, starting from Black Forest, especially if you're in the Black Forest at night, you'll get a lot of mobs. So the game really gets tough. Requires a lot of preparation. I mean, I have no idea how you would do with this. You have to take, you know, this part and the previous one, I guess. It would take so long. Ancient bark comes from these trees. If you get a, an abomination, he can function like a troll, or he can knock down the wood, so you don't have to. It's not straightforward to dodge him, but you, know, you can get used to it. Now you smelt your iron. Now get some coal again. Get a lot of iron. But uh, as soon as you get the chain and the iron, you can max out your forge. So that's really nice. I mean, it takes a lot of materials, but... No, workbench takes a, a material from the mountains, right? To reach maximum level. Yeah, uh, to max out the forge you also need the grindstone, right? But that just takes two two iron iron bars or whatever they're called. To make the you know like the stone cutter's bench. And here you can craft the poison resistance and then the frost resistance. quite an accessible recipe, you, you just need a lot of uh, mead, uh, honey, I mean. And then ferment them. Yeah, see? You need sharpening stone, then you can max out your forge. Chains come from the wraiths, but I didn't encounter any. any. And here I thought... Uh, which item did, did I think was in the shop? Oh, the thunderstone, but I didn't. I remembered I didn't kill the other, so... See, I, I'm getting thunderstone... This way. I thought I'd show you how much it costs and stuff, but... Eh. Whatever. Yeah, so... M for mountain I switched out the weapon. Now I'm rocking the shield. Yeah, and see the rune stone on on Molder is invisible. 
but it's there <laughs> and this is a I pre-dug the silver node and for whatever reason see the wishbone I'm standing directly on the silver but the wishbone is not going off it should g be going off like all the time and see this is obsidian and if you you know um, well, the sil the rest of the silver node is in the air, right? And if you detach it from all other um, anchor pieces, right, it will just shatter in one blow. Well, have the rest of them, like like uh, de deconstructing a building, you know. And see, here is a showcase of how dangerous, because it's a night time as well, but. I I didn't expect so many things to spawn, like one wolf, two wolf, three wolf, a fernling, and fourth wolf snuck up on me as well. See, this is the end ring, or whatever. And then another wolf. And I'm like thinking, whoa, 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 aren't there too many mobs? Like, look. Wolf number four, then the dragon. I got no bow skill, it's level one. No, I just, you know, wolf number five. Then wolf number six as well. <laughs> it's like whoa. <laughs> so yeah, not an easy game. Yeah, no, wolf number seven. See, this is what I mean. What the heck? Just wanted to get some silver, bro. And then you smell the silver. Oh. And it requires a lot of coal again. Because it, it's too coal for one bar. For one ore. And then... I mean it's just a suggestion, but you can visit the plains early. Locksmith gives a lot of health. You know. Cloudberries. Can't plant them, but you gotta find them out in the... You'll need a, quite a lot, because one one fire resistance mead, I guess it's called, or something, is uh, 10 cloudberries. Or not one, I guess it's it's produced in a, a batch of, what is it, like 5 or 6. But still... You gotta collect all the cloudberries you come across, and if you come across a good, uh, a good patch, you know, like a lot of them, then just mark it on your map. Because some of the other foods, one of the the end game foods also takes cloudberries. So. It, the usefulness doesn't drop off. And so, this is me just fighting locks. I mean, in your game you would probably do it with the archery, but it still it takes so long. Locks has a lot of HP and you don't have good gear. Oh, so, and that's just one lock, so, oh. And the, for the, you know, to avoid the fire, uh, I mean, frost resistance, the lockscape is uh, cheaper to craft, it only takes two silver. 
whereas the it's very hard to craft the compared you know the wolf cake and this is also you know the growths are dangerous this is f to get the tar you know but at least they fight uh, other planes thingies monsters so you can get somebody you know the locks to fight for you or something because these guys hurt a lot they can kill you easily and uh, losing the skills is very very hard at the beginning well i guess at any stage but at the beginning you can while you're still learning i guess or something and then you find these villages and uh, hope that they have flax or barley it's uh, gonna be also in the chest so check everywhere but fire damage is really hard so ooh, i mean it really hurts so the the magicians that start to chase you the shaman really have to be wary of of engaging this these villages otherwise these small goblins aren't uh, like well they are dangerous but if you know how to fight them they are quite fast compared to hunting down a lox you really have to and see i got a one star goblin only thing that that he has is his attack is very powerful but otherwise he's just like a normal goblin And he doesn't stagger as 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 easily. Can just berserk him. <laughs> yeah, see, so in planes you get everything: the best skeetos, you know, a lot of goblins, or fuelings, I guess. And then. I need a lot of space to retreat and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, um... It's easier to find some kind of... Um, uh, boundary. You know, like planes... Where planes crosses with the black forest or... Something like that, so... So that uh, the creatures just fight among themselves. Or, you know, you can do a swamp and planes as well. Just retreat into a swamp and then... the Watch the fuelings fight the leeches and stuff. And then you get these fueling trophies. And the all the other kind of loot. Yeah, see, so attacking, clearing out one one village is, is really a uh, small task, you know. Even if you call advanced uh, tactics or stuff, or technology. There are some fuelings in this tower on the left if you can spot them. So. And I thought I'd get some materials, you know, free cores, but in uh, in no build cost it doesn't return you the materials, so <laughs> disappointed. Uh, yeah, so here I build out the, you know, patented platform again. Uh, to smell the... Well, it's the philosophy of bring the base to, to the metal, you know, instead of bringing the metal hull to the base. Because you quickly just, uh, you know, grab the metal 
craft whatever you need and then put everything in the bag well it depends on which mode you're playing but still you know like pack it up you do do this near the water you know or something or oh well it depends right if you have portals you can do it anywhere but I just mean that uh, it's easier to to bring the materials instead of the cart, you know, you just use the wood, the food, the boat as your storage um, thingy. Well, because the big boat, the long ship has a, quite a good storage, you know. Because that's the ship you're gonna use most, probably. But yeah, see, uh, you can smelt it here, just build whatever you need and that, that final item is, you can take it through the portal again, need no need to worry, only the crafting part. And here is the frost cave. Um, I mean, you can get crystals easier here. Of the Fenris hair or whatever it's called, I can't remember now. And uh, hopefully the cultist tro uh, trophy to make the hood, but I don't know, I, I didn't... I don't use too many hoods. No, either use the most armored one or... Yeah, so see, this, these guys have a chance to drop the trophy. But because they are using burning damage, so maybe bring some fire resistance mead instead. So see, everything is really dark. I'm using the armored, you know, iron armor. Uh, oh, trousers, pants, whatever. Um, why am I blanking out? Um, the root harness for piercing damage. I'm testing that one out now. Yeah, so see if you want to uh, make the um, cape from the from the wolf. You need that wolf trophy. It's quite frequent. And also, if you want to breed the wolves, I suggest you find a place where you have a mountain that spawns wolves, uh, that transitions uh, into meadows. You know, and then find the boars as well, because the wolves can serve as guards. And see, uh, uh, I fa failed to capture the footage correctly, but you need to process the flax into the linen thread. And uh, then the padded armor is a nice uh, upgrade or checkpoint. So you would ideally, I guess, carry a, a, a lightweight clothes. Yeah, I'm switching into the feathered cape, you know, early. And now the Mistland spark. Um, the Fenris uh, coat, at least, you know, it's like drinking the for free, you know, the fire resistance potion. But I don't know. Most of the time, you just need a lot of armor, so carry the root harness or or something like that, and uh, just. Uh, defend against fire with the meat so you know like here you see the plant and the uh, mistlands compared to planes mistlands is uh, is really dangerous you know maybe the root harness helped me here or something but yeah this is a really tough biome on dashland it's not easier, it's just getting harder and harder. This is how you get the wood. Oh, 
but even with the end game tools it's really hard. You know, the how do you call it? The durability of the wood. To cut it down, I mean, you know. Because you would think with the black metal axe at least it would take faster or something, but no. This is how you find the, the other plan, the mage cap. And you can plan these yourself, so you just need to find the first ones first. But it's really hard, right? So Because you need to grow them in mistlands. And the, for example, the onions that don't grow in the mistlands, only those two plants, as far as I know. And this is how you hunt the hares, something. Something like this, right? Wait until they get into water because they're quite fast, otherwise. And here. Oh, yeah. You can get some iron, you know, in the mistlands, but these ancient swords and this ancient armor is copper source. But you still need to smelt them afterwards. So. And so here I found the. Boss arena for the queen. Need the seal breaker to craft it. Uh, to open the door. And once you get one seal breaker, you can o open all all the remaining doors. Yeah, and so I'm getting the Yaglus drop here. Getting some wisps. Because with one silver and a wisp, you can craft the wispy thingy, bound wisp or wisp like. Just to clear the mist, you know. And here. Oh, here I found the giant for the soft tissue. But I was uh, ambushed by a lot of ticks. Luckily no, no yawl or whatever it's called, the flying thing. And the see, his, uh, all the soft tissue spawned inside the rock. <laughs> so, clear out the enemies. You know, water is, is a hazard, prevents fighting. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I realized <laughs> that the tick has been attached all this time for whatever reason. But yeah, um, quite a bad spawn, a lot of water, everything is dark, you know, and it's night time as well, I think, so doesn't help but this is the source of black marble one of the sources you can destroy the buildings and and this uh, skeleton so and maybe you can find some in the chest as well i don't know in the infested mines The um, Aetir is a, can be used as a weapon, so if you have a place or you know, like if you have a fueling village and you have a lot of Aetir or a li even a little bit, you can just run around the Aetir pile and watch your enemies, you know, the soul, or at least help you with the damage output. Or maybe in infested mines, you know, like. Uh, the enemies are around the corner or something and you just thro keep throwing the eight tier. <laughs> but then it's a pain to pick pick it up. So just log out and log back in and then you can pick up the eight tier. Because once you drop something it, it doesn't want to be picked up again. 
Unless maybe you can use a teleporter as well. Yeah. You can use a portal to leave and come back and it will reset the thing. You can pick up the A tier automatically, quickly. So see? Uh, you would find these mines, you would get the royal jelly, more carapace and speakers. And uh, these black cores. What was it? Blood? Blood claw. Uh, for the... For the equipment. What do you call it? The staff of protection. But that's not a, a buildable item. So it's not a core part. It's equipment, you know. It's not a... Strictly speaking, it's not a tech tree. So that's why I'm only going over the base items, so to speak. This can be used in either industry or, or the, to raise the comfort level and stuff like that. And then you get two secret soldiers. And they're resistant to pierce, I guess, or something. So arrows. Like, look, I switched the bow, and it does nothing. Once you finally clear out the mob, you can play in the loot. I mean, it's tedious, right, to keep building uh, the Aether refinery, then uh, demolishing it, and then building uh, the Black uh, Forge, and then the, the Galder table and stuff. But it, they all take five cores, so... Yeah, and you would raid the Dwergers, for the Dwerger Needle is the first step in processing item. Um, yeah, you would find this root, build the sap extractor. And, you know, see, sap is, is the easier part. It's just tedious if you only have one needle or something you need to keep returning here because it only has like capacity of 10 inside. So once you have the sap and the, the soft tissue and... Oh, I can't remember now. Does this one take black cores as well? And oh yeah, no... It does, I think. It does, right? So bl five black cores and then you can start your ITER refinery. But finding new soft tissue is quite hard. You know, I think the best thing is to just drive around all the mistlands, you know, and then mark out the potential spots and then carefully venture inland. You see? This is a refined item. Used in the water recipes. I never went into the carapace shield after all. I just upgraded to Mistwalker and that's it. And I kept to the padded armor for at least for the video purpose so see once you defeat the queen and build the artisan table with the add-on you can make the ceramic sh plates plating and the three um, one refined item and three iron bars or something gives you a mechanical spring 
two springs are required for the black black table black forge table upgrade so see I'm getting the item from the boss that you would get from beating queen see here I craft the mist walker it only needs a little bit of wood but then it needs a bit of wisps a bit of ether and a lot of a lot of uh, iron and uh, don't use this weapon against the here I'm trying to build the to, to ru rush the Ashlands you know trying to build that big ship Duck, Drakkar or something but I get ambushed by wolves <gasps> so what was I saying? So oh, I lost my train of thought. Something about completing the And here I realize <laughs> that I don't have the modern power to influence the wind. Oh. oh right, something about the weapon, right? So, Mistwalker. Oh, right, uh, that um, Hilder's request uh, you know points you to the howling cavern and that boss there is resistant to frost damage I, I, I was like wailing at the boss you know he's throwing frost uh, damage at me and stuff and I'm like I can't understand is this health bar so long or big or something but it turns out I think it's because he's is resistant to uh, mist water specifically so if you're doing the field request just bring different kind of weapons I guess and see I forgot to include uh, these flowers or the salad or whatever it's called uh, at the start of the video you know if you go back and here I just build a quick portal. Uh, but the ward is very close. So. But Ashlands, yeah. Ashlands is super dangerous. Requires a lot of you know, preparation. Or just smart play, maybe, um, how do you call it, level the ground, or build the, well, use any, any advantage and trick you know, because it's, see I'm just flying around to show you, these blobs give a little bit of material, one of the kind, and you can find these vines growing, and the, uh, Funny enough, you know, the big wine doesn't have anything, but the short wine had the grapes or wine berries and so on. So you get uh, these explodey rocks. You get some kind of food item just growing on the rocks. And then you get these vultures. And uh, then you get how the flaw metal. But I checked one of the fortresses and, and I had like, what was it, like 30 or something? Flaw metal just in the chest alone. And you get these putrid holes as well. And be careful, there's a Morgan that just burrows out of the ground. Upper from, you know. And you can get a little bit of. of uh, of metals see i got the uh, silver and uh, an iron but 
it's just supplementary no it, it's not gonna <laughs> uh, I mean everything is nice every little bit but uh, it's not gonna revolutionize your or replace your uh, need to gather and smelt the, um, the bars yourself see this is how a fortress looks like and this is uh, where the celestial feathers come from this enemy and you have another kind of veg viziers to mysterious locations in the ashlands putrid uh, holes and i uh, see i still didn't pick up i thought i did but I should have picked up the ash wood right there, I wouldn't need to make another trip. I totally forgot to pick it up because uh, like this is the Morgan, that one was the Askson. This is the uh, Ashlands boss arena. Now interact with the stone to add it to your map. If it's not already added. And then back to smelting, you know. And here I'm getting the coal, you know, I realized, oh, how to, but see, I'm not sure, I, yeah, I removed some of the footage, but I, I stood around here, and new circling didn't spawn, and I thought maybe because uh, I, you know, like, I transformed the land and now there's only water, you know, it's shallow water. But I ran over, you know, I have like three gazers close by here. I ran to the next one. I did only the water around him. You now everything else I uh, left uh, as, as the default. I'm still not certainly going to spawn, so maybe, you know, build a portal and go away and then come back see this is the next one just kind of uh, see wait for the circling to fire off his attack and then you can and then you can attack him and uh, but yeah so new circling didn't want to spawn but otherwise before uh, it was a really, uh, well, you could get a lot of coal very quickly, like I'm talking like 50 coal or more, like in, 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 in what do you call it, in moments, under a minute. So, if you had, had like three gazers like this nearby, that was like, your coal problems were solved, that's it. just uh, you know uh, level the ground starting from the uh, shore to make the traversal in the swamps easier so see now I'm have enough coal for the plumetto processing so you need a lot of coal for everything I'm just uh, you know like smelting a small batch only five ores or something but still burn through a lot of coal yeah and even though see i'm getting the ask spin uh, the morgan sinew it's the required for the black tape bloodstone for the black the uh, black forge table upgrades you know Celestial Feather is for the Galder table upgrade. And um, Skeletal Trophy, Skeleton Trophy is for also for the Galder table. So here I'm crafting the Dwergo Lantern. It requires bronze and crystal. Crystal is easy, though. I have a lot of it probably. Because it's not used much anywhere else. 
and see and I'm, I'm like quickly rushing to the first tree I see but suddenly the first to water and then I am set on fire and I'm like oh quickly bring the meat see because I'm wearing the root harness and the uh, feather cape you know. Yeah, and I'm even near the allies, right? But still, look, suddenly I get super ambushed. I'm like, is the graveyard somewhere nearby or what's going on? Why did they so many here? I mean, it is nighttime, I understand. But, uh, look, nothing is easy in Iceland. And this guy with one star as well. Oh. They have a lot of it. That's what I was trying to show with the previous video. Uh, this guy, you know, even without one star, he could wipe out a whole healing room, I'm pretty sure. It's so tough. Because the one you spawn with the console command is not the uh, correct one. Because this version is tougher, I think. So I see I'm rushing back to the woods, but then I get the archer and <gasps> it's like can I get some wood? Oh here I got the wood. And the arrows don't do nothing. You need to practice the maybe use different arrows or something or practice the archery a lot. But between all the skills in the game, you know, like the sword the bow, the magic. It's like, oh come on. Who has time to grind all these skills? Because that's what it is. You have to grind everything. And the um, elemental magic especially, I have no idea. You know, because think about it, you're doing everything else. You're breeding the wolves, you're breeding the, the whatever, locks. Uh, ball didn't show the chickens as well. I forgot. You're breeding the chicken. You you're growing your garden, you know. And then then you have one garden in Mistland, one garden in plains, or you can basically say you can have the the whole garden in the plains. But you need to find a, a plains island, otherwise, you know, like the enemies will just destroy your garden real quick. And uh, don't build anything near the Black Forest because Black Forest has a lot of mobs spawning. And the plains obviously has dangerous mobs, right? So It'll be caught out. And here I'm getting the uh, charred cobble. But, yeah, see? I got it. But it's not a super required item. I'm just showing you where to get it, so see, I'm just booking it out of here. I've had it. And uh, finally, see, I found the cheating after a long search. And this island uh, is like flat metal. It just sinks into the depth. And I only ha uh, got 36 cheating. And I'm using the uh, the best axe, uh, pickaxe in the game. Uh, currently at least. The black metal one. I mean I'm not super trying but still. Uh, for how hard it was to find one of these, you know, Kraken or whatever you can call them. And uh, finally, thanks for watching, you know, the, the fishing item cost. What a journey, man.